Good morning, guys. My morning cup of coffee. I usually drink tea, but today it's freezing out in Chicago. And it's Hope from Cedarholic Gardens. And I am here to tell you three things I learned in 2019. I was challenged by Trinity over at UT33200 channel. So here's my three things. I learned, number one, to stay organized. And I told you earlier this season I was going to get my seeds organized, which I did. I bought a bunch of dollar store um, or Walmart um, pencil cases and got my seeds more organized. I bought this thing, which I'm not in love with. It is two layers that I like that part. But when I don't have someone up to help me, these little blue handles on the side come off. So I have to wait for someone to help me restructure it. And um, I'm so organized that today you'll see peat pellets. And why am I doing peat pellets? Because I'm going to hedge my bets. And that's part of number two. Um, I am planting responsibly from now on. I'm only planting what I can maintain and upkeep within reason. Um, you saw over at the community bet garden, I have a 900 square foot bed. And it was very expensive to build the beds there. And so we're going to build that up over the years, little by little, you'll see us grow that bed together. But I think I overextended myself this year, so I just have a few peat pellets because I have, I have 15, I have 15 different varieties of things that I'm going to grow over winter. I'm gonna grow them under the covers like I showed um, you earlier. I learned from Jess from Roots and Refuge to grow under pl bigger plastic bins to get greens throughout the winter under one layer of cover. So this is my list of things that I'm going to grow already with the labels made, the dates, because you guys know this year I had a real issue with labeling things. So that's part of stay organized, the plant responsibility. And then my third thing, you guys, is to never, ever stop learning. You can always learn something new from anybody who gardens, whether it's the tiniest beginning first time gardener or to the biggest gardening channels on YouTube and on the planet. You can always learn something new, so always keep learning. Then I have to challenge a couple people. So Paula, um, Paula from Just Living is my number one. Letitia is number two from Barefoot Gardening. Penelope from Penelope the Squirrely Prepper. And I'm excited to hear your answers because I'm sure I'm gonna learn something from you guys. And as always, I'm wishing you blessings of bounty and may your gardens always bring you joy. You know the SOP, guys. Remember, like, share, subscribe, and please comment because it's very encouraging to me. I try to answer them all, and I notice you guys have been watching and liking, which I appreciate, but no one's really been commenting. So give me some comments. Give me some feedback so I know where I can go in future with my next video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Take care.